Hello, welcome to the DEF CON 2023. Uh, thank you so much for being here and thank you to the organization for the opportunity. Uh, well, uh, we would like to talk to you today about uh, progressive delivery and Argo rollout. Okay, the idea is to review more or less the basics around uh, progressive delivery and uh, with Argo rollout. Well, my name is Asier. Uh, Asier Zidon for Spanish speakers, uh, Asier Sidon for English speakers, is both are okay. And well, I'm a senior, uh, cloud, a senior cloud architect uh, in Iberia, and, but I'm based in Madrid right now. And well, I joined Red Hat uh, four years ago, four and a half years ago, and I have been, but I have been working uh, for 12 years, more or less, in open source related projects. Well, um, I, I, in, at the beginning, I started a, as an infra guy, working with different infrastructure and automation solutions. For example, OpenStack, Open Nebula, Ansible, uh, Rehab Virtualization, for example. But in the last few years, I have, I have been spending time working with uh, containers, with uh, Kubernetes, OpenSea, for sure, and uh, all products or all solution on top of offensive in order to deploy macro, uh, microservice architectures. Well, today with me. Hi, hello everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm David Severiano. Uh, I'm a DevOps and AppDev architect uh, in Iberia. I'm based in Madrid also, as a CERT. Um, I grow as a backend developer, mainly with Java application, but now I'm pretty close with Kubernetes, ICD, uh, DevOps. I'm so happy to be here and I hope you enjoy this presentation. Well, uh, the agenda for today is more or less simple. Uh, we will review some basics around progressive delivery and Argo project. And then we will have, or David will, will give us a demo. Uh, it's a real, uh, real life uh, demo, okay? <laughs> Cross the fingers. <laughs> Uh, and we will review the Red Hat OpenShift GitOps roadmap. For us, it's an spoiler, but it's Argo CD. And then we have the Q&A, okay? Well, progressive delivery. Uh, before starting talking with, uh, about progressive delivery, the, the main important thing here, or the main topic is to talk about deploying new applications, releases, okay? That's more or less the idea or the, the key aspect in this uh, presentation. Uh, I would like to review with you some uh, basics around CI/CD. It's only to to be sure all of us uh, are in the in the same page. Well, uh, continuous integration, as you may know, is a development practice where developers integrate some uh, changes in in code in a, in a shared repository uh, with the idea to include new uh, new features or something like that. And well, uh, you have a, an automated process to review this code, uh, uh, unit testing or something like that, and the idea is generate an artifact, okay? This artifact is a, in Kubernetes, is an um, image container, and the idea is, uh, yeah, is generate this uh, image container. Well, after that, uh, you have the continuous delivery and continuous deployment. Uh, the, uh, the idea in continuous delivery and deployment is to take this uh, artifact and uh, promote or deploy this, this artifact uh, in all environments. You have, for example, development, pre-production, production, and the idea is to promote, deploy this artifact in, uh, in all the environments. Well, the idea in general of, of these uh, procedures is to deploy or deliver Product, uh, new product releases faster, um, improve the customer satisfaction, improve the innovation processes, and from my point of view, another important thing is to be sure uh, our application uh, complies with different uh, level of quality and uh, performance as well. Well, uh, what is progressive delivery? In summary, progressive delivery is an evolution of uh, continuous delivery, okay? Uh, basically, uh, with uh, progressive delivery, you deploy a new uh, version of your application, 
uh, select a, sub a subset of users or production, u or production users uh, with the idea to use this new version. Uh, analyze then, you need to analyze the behavior of this new version. And if everything is okay, the idea is to uh, increase the traffic or the number of users in this new version, using this new version, and decrease the traffic in the old version or the current version. And you repeat this process until you have all traffic redirected to this new version. That's more or less the idea of progressive delivery. Uh, how is possible to implement this strategy? You have both uh, two options. You have blue green and canary. Uh, a blue green deployment, um, the idea is to deploy the new version in parallel in offline mode. Why in offline mode? Because you need to test this new version. That's more or less the, the, the idea. When you are able, uh, when you are sure your new version is working fine, the idea is to move all the users from the current uh, version to the new one, okay? In a specific uh, moment. Uh, well, you have different uh, cons and pros in this, uh, in this uh, strategy. Regarding pros, for example, you are able, uh, you have, uh, it's more or less easy to deploy the new version and to perform rollbacks because you have uh, both applications running in parallel with the same configuration and it is more or less easy. And uh, in contrast, you have to duplicate the compute resources, for example, because you need to, you know, to, you need to move all users at the same time. And for this reason, you need to have the same configuration on the current version and in the new one. Uh, in Canary, it's a little, it's a little different be, uh, because you, you need to deploy the new version, for example, um, select a subset of users in a minimum representation, I mean 5% of the traffic or 10%, the idea is to redirect some traffic to this new version, uh, analyze and observing and analyzing the, the correct behavior of this new application based on metrics or service level indicators. And if everything is okay, the idea is to increase the, the, the number of users in the new version and then decrease the number of users in the, in the old or current version. Uh, and well, when you have uh, the idea is to make this um, this uh, change in, in some steps for in some steps for example uh, 10 percent and then 20 and then 50 and then 80 and then 100 percent that's more or less the idea uh, of course you have uh, um, cons and, and pros as well uh, regarding pros for example you have um, zero downtime that's more or less the theoretical idea and you, uh, you, you have a cost-effective cost uh, strategy because you have only the, the, um, the replicas required for all the traffic, okay? And in contrast, you have a, probably some com uh, complexity in terms of manage all of these, uh, of these tasks, deploy new application, verify the, the new version, manage the traffic, you, need, you have some, some complexity. Uh, it takes time because you need to perform some steps and you need to, uh, to analyze the metrics and probably takes some time, some time um, and you need backward compatibility because you have users in both versions using the same database, for example, or yeah, these kind of things, it's, it's share, sharing uh, some resources. Well, uh, what is Argo? Argo is an open source suite of projects that um, helps uh, developers uh, in their day-to-day -day operations in terms of software, okay? It's a trendy topic, I think, a trendy uh, project, I think. Uh, Argo was born five years ago, uh, but, I, uh, but it joined uh, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation in 2020 as an incubating project. Uh, as you may know, uh, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation is a foundation, for sure, uh, that supports and helps um, open source projects to grow, okay? Uh, right now, Argo has the graduated certification. Uh, graduated certification means 
you have a project considered stable, production ready, you have thousands of contributors, and uh, for sure it's, it's, uh, this uh, tool is uh, designed to, to be used in, in, production, in production. Well, uh, Argo City probably is the most known uh, project in, in Argo community. Uh, basically, Argo, Argo CD is a tool that supports uh, continuous delivery strategies uh, based on GitOps. Uh, in GitOps, you have a code repository. The idea is to, Argo CD is a controller that uh, manages the configuration, uh, obtain the configuration in these uh, repositories, and then uh, use this configuration to configure Kubernetes clusters. Kubernetes, OpenShift, you know, different clusters. Um, and well, that's, that's more or less the, the idea of, of Argo CD. Uh, of course, you have different features. You are able to read this configuration. You, you can detect a config drift. You can perform rollbacks. You can uh, implement quick and easy recovery plans. You have different features with Argo CD. Well, but Argo is not only Argo CD. Uh, in, Argo project, uh, in Argo project, you have a lot of uh, projects. You have Argo workflows, for example, is a continuous integration engine. You have rollout, Argo rollout, uh, uh, that we will review in the next slide, but uh, it's a Kubernetes deployment, advanced Kubernetes deployment strategy tool. And Argo events, okay, is to implement uh, uh, event-driven architectures. Well, regarding uh, Argo rollout, uh, it's a Kubernetes uh, controller that manages uh, manage advanced deployment uh, strategies, okay? Uh, for example, Bluebeam and Canary, of course. And the most important thing, everything uh, automated. That's the, 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 main, the main reason. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, Progressive delivery strategies involves a lot of uh, tasks, no? Uh, I think, for example, you need to deploy the new version, you need to manage the traffic, you need to, um, to uh, obs observe and analyze metrics uh, in order to analyze the correct behavior. You have to do a lot of tasks. Uh, well, Argo, Argo rollout helps you uh, performing all of these tasks, okay? Uh, thanks to many integration, of course, with Kubernetes, for sure, and with third-party solutions, like um, Prometheus, for example, in order to analyze the, the behavior of the applications, uh, Istio, for, uh, Istio, Nginx, I don't know, you, you are able to, to integrate with third-party solution in order to uh, perform all of these tasks. Uh, regarding the architecture, Argo Rollout uh, is a unique controller uh, write and go, and uh, well, the idea of, of this controller is to manage some custom resort definitions, CRDs. Um, you, the, the, you have, in order, the, regarding the workflow, you have two important uh, objects or CRDs. You have the rollout object. Uh, this object uh, include all information the, the regular Kubernetes deployment has, for, uh, and then you have an extra field in order to define the uh, specific strategy, okay? In order to, to configure the, um, the deployment strategy, for sure. And then uh, w when, you when you create a rollout, the Argo rollout controller takes this information from the, the CRD and create a set of replica sets and manage the um, the services, the Kubernetes services, uh, with this information. Okay, we will review this uh, this um, procedure with with David. And and then on the other hand, you have the analysis template. Okay, where you are able to define the the uh, analysis strategy in order to get the different metrics and then be able to be sure this application is uh, is working fine in order to take decision for promoting the application, the new, the new version of your application or not, okay? 
And that's all for my part, David. Oop. Okay, demo time. Great. <laughs> but you will have to wait a little bit more, okay? Let me introduce a little bit the demo that we are going to execute. We are going to execute a canary deployment. You already know what is it, as Sierra has already explained. So I will go on. We have developed a very simple application. We have a front-end application built with React that calls a back-end application that uh, is built with Quarkus, but it's just an API that will answer with the version of the application. So what we are going to do, we are going to deploy a new backend version. We will start with version one, we will deploy version two, and we will see how uh, the version change. Okay, uh, to, in order to deploy, uh, uh, to deploy this demo, uh, what we have done is for the backend, instead to use a, a, a deployment, a Kubernetes deployment, we are, sorry, we are using a rollout kind, okay? Also with the API version. In the rollout kind is almost the same as a deployment, the only difference is that we have to add this strategy part, okay? So we have the same as a deployment, but adding this strategy part. For this demo, we have decided to do a canary deployment, okay? Here we also have the analysis template that we will talk about it later. We also have traffic routing. For this demo, uh, we are going to use Istio, but uh, Argo Rollout is able to execute a canary, deploying, a canary deployment without a traffic management, okay? Istio is not necessary, but if we use Istio or another traffic management, is the only way to achieve the exactly amount of traffic that we want for each uh, rollout, okay? So for example, for this demo, we have defined three steps, okay? In the first step, we will send 10% of the traffic to the new version for 60 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me do it, let me do it. Uh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> okay, here we are. First step. 10% of traffic. Second step, 50% of traffic for 60 seconds. Third step, 75% of traffic for 60 seconds. And finally, we will have 100% of traffic to our new version. Um, okay. Then, analysis template. Our backend application is sending metrics to Prometheus. What we are going to do with our analysis template is we are going to collect those, those metrics with a specific query and define a condition. If the condition is success, the rollout will continue. If we have errors, we have bugs in our new version, the condition will be run, and Argo rollout will automatically do the, the rollback. And Argo rollout will automatically send 100% of the traffic to the old version, okay? That's very, very important because this allows us to execute more safely deployments. Okay, this is more or less the architecture of the, for the demo. We have our front end that is calling our back end inside service mesh. And we will start with version one with four pods, okay? Then when I deploy the new version, Argo Rollout will do two things mainly, okay? First thing, it will create a new replica set, <coughs> but only with one pod. Why? Because I have said first step, 10% of traffic to the new version. So Argo Rollout make her best to achieve this percent of traffic. But because we have service mesh and the virtual service, Argo Rollout will do the second thing that Argo Rollout will also change the virtual service, set, uh, setting 10% of traffic to the new version, 90 to the old version. We will see that in the demo. So I think more or less is clear. Let's go with the real demo. Show you. Okay. So first of all, we have already deployed our application using, of course, Argo CD, GitOps <laughs> model. Here we can see deployment for well, for the front end. We can see our rollout instead of the deployment for the backend with a replica set that has four pods. We have our analysis template here waiting and all the uh, destination role, gateway, and virtual services, 
Great. Then this is our front-end application. And we can see that it's answering with version one. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this front-end application to execute one query against the backend each second. Okay? So we can see that it's changing, okay? The time is changing and it's one request and the answer is always version one. Great. We also can see Kiali that 100% of traffic is going to the to version one. And this is the Argo rollout CLI, okay? Here you can see that the stable version is version one, we are in the first revision, and we have four pods for a stable version. So, let's do the change. I'm going to deploy, well, we have Helm uh, to deploy the, the application, so, wait, sorry, not this. I'm going to change, change my Helm value to Deploy version 2. Great. I'm going to make the commit. Okay. Commit. And the push. So just to make it faster, I will refresh automatically Argo CD. And we will see the magic. Okay, Argo Rollout has seen that there is a new version, has created, as I told you, a new, re new replica set with only one pod. It has also changed the virtual service, and if we see the differences, we can see that we had 100% to stable, but Argo Rollout automatically has changed it to set 90% of traffic to stable, 10% of traffic to canary. I didn't do nothing, it's Argo Rollout, okay? If we go to the UI, from time to time, we will start watching version 2. It should appear soon. Because we are, we are sending only 10%, okay, here it is. We are only sending 10% of traffic to the, to the new version, version 2. And also in Kiali, we, Kiali has a little bit of delay, okay? But also in Kiali, we can see that 70, right now, 70% of traffic is going to version 2. And sooner, after the 60 second, Argo rollout will continue with the rollout. And I've done for today. I don't have to do nothing else. It's the easiest demo I've ever done because Argo Rollout will do everything for me. I can sit down here and see how Argo Rollout is then in step two. Argo Rollout has created a new replica set. Argo Rollout is also changing the virtual service. We can see here, 50-50. We can see in the UI that version two will appear more frequently. Here, ah, also important, uh, analysis, analysis run, okay? There is an analysis run that starts at the beginning, I forgot to tell you. We'll be here from all the rollout. It is getting metrics, comparing against the, the condition, and if everything goes well, it will allow with the rollout. If the metrics are not a success, Argo rollout will automatically make the rollout, the rollback. And that's all for me. Uh, in another 60 seconds, we'll see that Argo rollout will go to step three. Remember that step three is 75% uh, of traffic to the new version and 25, here it is. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> Easiest demo. So here we have three replicas. Also, very important, Argo rollout, as you can see, is deleting the pods from the old version because he knows the amount of traffic that he needs to send to the old version. So in, in, uh, uh, with the weight that we have defined, now we are, we are in step three, so it's 25% to the old version. He, he said, okay, only one point for the old version. So he is doing the scale up and scale down also automatically. And again, changing the virtual service to achieve the exact amount of traffic that we want to each version. Also, we can see in Kiali that the uh, traffic is going up to the version 2. We are already in 80% of traffic in version 2. And after another 60 seconds, we will see how Argo rollout will automatically uh, create the fourth, here it is, the fourth pod, the last pod. Uh, it will send 100% of traffic to the new version. Argo rollout will also delete all the pods for the old version. 
Now, as you can see, we don't have uh, differences in the virtual service because Argo Rollout has set version 2 as a stable. Remember, at the beginning, we, have, we had version 1 as a stable. Now, the rollout is finished. We have version 2 as a stable. Also, the analysis run has finished successfully because we were lucky and everything works. And in the virtual service, there is no differences because we are sending 100% of traffic to the stable version. Sooner we will see in the Kiali UI that 100% uh, of traffic is going to the version 2. And that's all. Um, I, let me a little bit more things that we want to, to review with you, and then we go to the Q&A. Uh, change here. Okay, GitOps uh, roadmap. Um, uh, version 1.9 of uh, OpenShift GitOps was released a few days ago, and in that version we have Argo rollout as text preview. Okay, so great, we can start playing with it more safely. We can start talking with our clients about it, but take it to account, into account that this is still text preview, but it, it is there already. It means that you are able to install Argo rollout with the OpenShift GitOps operator and manage all the CRDs. Okay, that's, that's more or less the idea. And last but not least, Saturday uh, 15.30, we have a workshop about Argo rollouts. It's very similar, uh, like the demo that they have done already, but we will, we will deploy uh, uh, cloud-native applications using Argo CD, using Helm. We will use GitOps, GitOps model, and we will have three exercises. Blue-green deployment, canary deployment without service mesh. Remember, we can execute canary deployment with Argo rollouts, and it, it is not necessary to have a service mesh or traffic management. And the, th the third exercise, we will use Argo rollout, service mesh, and everything together. We have all content uh, public. If you can go to the, to the workshop, uh, you can talk with us in order to obtain all, all the URLs and, and all information, okay, if you have problems to assist. But if you want to, ha to enjoy and play a little bit with Argo rollouts, come next Saturday. And that's all. I think we are on time for the questions. So please, do not hesitate if you have any questions. Uh, I think we have to switch. Yeah, we have uh, online. We have a question online. No? Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. All right, so if I go for any traffic, that means I can't go six seconds or long, it takes several hours. How do I provide the metrics? Because I can't rely on just the port entry. I need to have application metrics. How do I provide them to others? So if the rollout starts failing, I know to stop rolling out. I'm not sure if I get your question, but. Okay. the uh, Prometheus URL, the query that we want to execute against Prometheus. And the most important thing you have here, the provider. Yep. Here in Prometheus, there you are have different, di different providers. And then you define the success condition yeah. based on the metrics. Yeah, right now we are playing with the, in this example with the, um, with Prometheus, but we have different. Uh, yeah, there are there are another provider that is web that you call an API, and based on the answer you decide what to do. Cool. So you can set the thirty the thirty path, for example, or something like that. Okay. And how are There is a sorry. I, I will answer first. And oh, okay. uh, I think uh, he's asking about. We can see here a password. Okay, this is something that has to be improved. 
Okay, right now there is not a way to tell uh, Argo rollout get this password from this secret, let's say. So it's, it's something that is still, I think, on progress. Yeah, the idea is that rollout is inside the cluster, and if you are uh, consulting metrics uh, from Prometheus, the idea is to, to, to do some uh, integration between Argo rollout and the, the offensive promises, for example, in terms of on offensive. But right now, it's, uh, yeah. uh, it's the only way. Yeah, uh, first, uh, he's asking about uh, multi-cluster. Argo rollout right now do not support multi-cluster. So if you want, uh, you have to go to each cluster, install Argo rollout controller, and imagine that both uh, controllers, both application have the same Git repository, Argo rollout, Argo CD or Argo rollout will get those changes, but the rollout will be independently. Yeah. You can, point to a Prometheus at the outside. We still have the problem of, of the password, uh, but the rollout will be independently for a reason could happen that one rollout finish with the rollout and the other not. And it's, it's, if, if the metrics are the same, it is not... Uh, and of course, probably you need to include some information in the metric in order to specify the cluster here, for example, mm. or something like that in order to have different uh, Deployment in parallel, for yeah, right now, uh, this is my guest. I think uh, they will make it work for multi-cluster. They also have set it in the same uh, operator as Argo CD, OpenCG Tops, that is multi-cluster. So I guess, I'm not, I'm not sure that sooner uh, it will be also multi-cluster, but right now, it's not. Yeah, you, you in your remember that the rollout, the kind is the same as a deployment. So you have your replica mm -hmm. for in for the demo. So Argo rollout play with this, this number based on the weight. He said, okay, 10% of traffic from four pods, it's one pod. <laughs> you, you mean the, he makes his best? based on the number of replicas that you have defined and based on the way that you have defined. 50-50 is here. You have four replicas, two, two. Okay, this, this is how it works. Because of that, traffic management. Because when you don't have traffic management, Argo rollout make his best with the number of replicas. If you have 100 replicas, very easy. But if you have four and you want to achieve this 10% of traffic, the only way to really achieve this 10% of traffic is traffic management with yeah. Istio or whatever. Or increase and error replica to them and, you know, do some math, uh, mathematical, you know, <laughs> in order to, to achieve the, this percentage. The there, there is a lot of uh, configuration properties where you can say um, more replicas, less replicas, how long the old replicas are there for a rollback. There are many things that we don't have today time to review, but if you want to check the uh, Argo rollout page, this is where uh, in Argo project you will see many, many information. All of time. The last question? Yeah, very quick. Very quick. <laughs> Come on. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming.